Do you have a speech that's coming up or a presentation and you are thinking about, hmm, should I memorize it? Hi everyone, this is Kit Pang and welcome to Boston Speaks. And if this is your first time here on this channel, I'm here to help you improve your communication and public speaking skills. So you're thinking about, hmm, should I memorize my talk and or how should I memorize my talk? Um, I just want to tell you a little story. I used to be afraid of public speaking and I entered this public speaking competition back in college. Uh, I actually entered three at the same time. They had three categories. And at first I was thinking, I want to really do a really good job. Should I memorize it? Should I not memorize it? At the end of the day, I memorized all of them and they were 10 minutes each. Because at first I was thinking, hmm, if I memorize it, and maybe you're thinking of the same thing too, if I memorize it, will I be too robotic, right? Will I sound like I am still authentic? Can I still be myself? Or can I even memorize it word by word? There's something that was very magical when I did memorize it, when I got on stage that day, and I did win that competition, thank you. Uh, the words I practiced maybe five or six times a day leading up to that event, or I practiced for a week, every single day, five to six times. And leading up to that event, I, I felt stronger every single day. You see, most people have that hesitancy or the fear of public speaking is because first, they did not practice or they did not prepare. And something magical happened during that day when I got on the competition. Words were just flowing out and actually everything slowed down. I was able to really look at people in the eyes. I was able to feel their emotions and look at their facial expressions. Even though the words were just coming out, I felt like I was never more present ever. And I did not feel robotic at all. I felt like, wow, I was in the zone. And again, the words were just coming out and I was having a really good time because I did not have to think about, hmm, what do I, what do I have to say next? Or, hmm, is that the right next thing to say? Or, hmm, I did not prepare enough. Most people, they fail at public speaking is because they did not practice enough. And actually, if you are a performer, a dancer, uh, an artist, how often do you have to practice your craft? A lot, right? A magician. You think a magician will go out on stage without practicing? That's going to be very hard. So today, I want to show you a method that you can use to really memorize your talk, even word by word, okay? Memorizing the talk is especially important. Now, if you got used to public speaking, you don't have to memorize every single little detail, but you can know which point to go off of. But uh, at any time, if you are giving a really important talk, I would still, I'm going to say, I want to memorize it. Um, again, you will not be like a robot, but if it's really important to you, right? What's the worst? What's the worst that can happen if you memorize it? You can at that same day you can still change up anything that you want, but being fully prepared is better than going in saying, "Okay, I don't know what I'm going to talk about," or your brain is thinking, "Okay, what's com coming up next?" So, if you want to memorize your talk, here's how you should do it. This is called the M and M method. Okay, like a talk or presentation. You have so many um, ideas and thoughts into there. At first, it's all jumbled up. Think of this as a speech, right? You have paragraph one, you have your intro, you have your paragraph two, three, four, five, six, and then you have all these stories and, and then you have your ending. Right now, it's all jumbled up. So how should you practice your talk so you can memorize it? Now, like M&Ms, there are so many different colors that you see. Randomly, you would usually grab one. Maybe you don't care about the colors, maybe you do. But think of it like this. You can use M&Ms, you can use anything that you want, okay? This green M&M is going to be paragraph one. This is going to be my introduction. I want to first memorize this introduction. So you can, you can even break it down this way. Okay, I have my M&M. I want to have this introduction. And then on my second paragraph is this red M&M. Here's the thing. I first need to memorize the first paragraph. I'm going to say it over and over, no matter how many sentences there are. There are four sentences, five sentences. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it once. I'm going to say it twice. I'm going to say it until I have this first paragraph, this introduction memorized. And then I am going to memorize paragraph two, this red one. Okay, you can associate paragraph two with anything. 
memorize that down. So don't even talk about paragraph one now when you're trying to memorize paragraph two, the red M&M. &M. So I'm going to have memorized paragraph one, the, the green M&M, &M, and then I'm going to memorize paragraph two. After I have both of those paragraphs memorized, I'm going to put them together. I'm going to talk when I, when I present. I'm going to do paragraph one and two. When you have that, you then move on, okay, to the next two paragraphs. Same exact thing. Paragraph three is orange. Paragraph four is blue. I'm going to just start from the beginning, but I'm just going to practice paragraph three. Or you can say, if you want, slide three, okay? Slide one, slide two, slide three. Paragraph three. I'm going to memorize that down, have it down before I move on to paragraph four. After I got paragraph three and four down, I'm going to do three and four in combination. I'm, I'm not even going to do paragraph one and two. I'm just going to remember paragraph three and four, and I'm going to do those two. Now, you know where I'm getting into. After I have two plus two down, okay, only when I can memorize the first two paragraphs, second two paragraphs, or instead of paragraphs, you can think of, okay, here's point one, here's point two. You can think of it as structures. Structure one, structure two, structure three, um, or point one, point two, point three. After I have those four down, only after, I'm going to go paragraph one, paragraph two, three, and four. Do it together. And this is how you do it. Break it down by twos and then by four, and then all of them. So the next time, you can say, okay, I have four slides memorized. Now I'm going to practice 5 and 6, and then I, after I have slides 5 and 6 down, 7 and 8, and then I'm going to do 5, 6, 7, 8, and then you have 5, 6, 7, 8, do you know what you do next? You do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then after that, this is your reward. I call this the M&M because you hook, you associate each paragraph with an object, and after you have it memorized, memorized give yourself a treat because you put in all that hard work. And here's the thing you don't want to fail at. Whenever people, they practice public speaking, that's sometimes when you get stressed out and then you start stress eating. It ever happened to you? Oh, I'm practicing. I gotta drink some coffee. And while you are eating everything, your brain is not getting focused on your talk because they're trying to, they're trying to focus on everything else. Oh, I'm gonna go on my, on my iPhone and do all of this, right? Keeping your rewards right in front of you will say that's motivation for me to eat my M&Ms, okay? So you can associate, for example, well, here you can even use your phone to associate something. When you are done memorizing paragraph one or paragraph two, then can you look at your phone? So again, chunk things uh, in twos, memorize that, and then do another two. And then at the end of the day, reward yourself because you put in all that hard work. Now, what about you? Um, do you have any methods that you use to memorize your talk? Uh, I know most people, do you know what they do? They try to mem memorize it, and they try to memorize the whole talk. That's really hard. Here's another tip. What you want to do when you have your whole talk, or even the first time, read it and record it. The power of that is that you are able to listen to it. And while you are on the subway, while you are driving, when you listen to it, your mind is, is going to say, okay, I know what's coming up next. I'm, my, your mind starts speaking your talk. And the thing is, when you hear yourself, you, you, you'll be thinking, hmm, I don't like the way that's, that's there. I'm going to change it up, right? And every single time you listen to it, you're like, wow, I really like the way that sounds. So I hope you tried the m and method. Reward yourself only after you practice your, your talk and you have it down. I'm rewarding myself because I'm doing this YouTube video. And it's a good video, right? Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button to get notification, notifications. And my name, again, is Kit Pang. It's hard to talk and eat at the same time. So when you speak in public, don't eat and speak at the same time. Anyway, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.